Tragedy struck in Eretz Yisrael. A yeshiva was going on a Lag Baomer trip. They had gone to Makomos HaKadoshim in Tzvas and Meron and Tiveria, and they were on their way down to Yonis and Ben Uziel in Amuka. And unfortunately, the bus tipped over, it rolled down a ravine, and three of the boys were nifter. That night, one of the boys came to his friend in a dream, and he said, I'm coming back down to you because you and I learned Chumash with Rashi Be'iyun. And we made up once, a little while ago, that whichever one of us is nifter first, he should come to his friend in a dream and tell him what is the reward for learning Chumash with Rashi Be'iyun. So I want to tell you that they took me to a place in Gan Eden called Heichel Shel Rashi. And I now sit at the feet of Rashi. I'm understanding the depths of Chumash and I'm hearing it from Rashi himself. And there's one other boy and the way he was greeted with the Malachim, with a song, was unlike the way we were greeted. His neshama was taken straight to Kisei HaKavad where he is honored and he sits next to HaKadosh Baruch Hu because he was mocked, but he was extra careful since he was young in Shmira Sa'inayim. The Svarim bring down that if someone is careful in Shmira Sa'inayim, their neshama is brought after their nifter to Kisei HaKavad. The boy said, I'm gonna tell you one more thing and then I have to leave. Being in this dream is painful for me. I need to be back in Gan Eden. Because we were young, our patira has a great kapara effect on Kla Yisrael. Tomorrow there's going to be a bomb on the bus in Tel Aviv. More than 20 people are going to be nifter, but all of them will be adults and their kapara will not be as great as ours. The boy wakes up and he's very shaken up by this whole dream. He runs to his mashkiach and says, Mashkiach, this boy who was nifter was my chivrus and we made up this deal. And he came to me in a dream and this is what he said. And the mashkiach was visibly moved. He decided at the Leviah he's going to tell over the story. Thousands of people there. He tells over the story. This boy brought the Eichel Shalrashi. And then the other boy, who was careful in Shmir Sainaim, brought to Kisei cover the highest place, Lenetzach Nitzachim. And then he thinks, should I tell the very last part of the story? Then he decides, I should. If I was meant to hear it, I meant to tell it over. And he says, Loyolenu, it shouldn't happen, but it was predicted in this dream that there's going to be a bomb on the bus in Tel Aviv and 20 people are gonna be nifter and their kapar won't be as great as these three boys. People driving back from the Levi were visibly moved. They turn on the radio and all of a sudden there's breaking news. A bomb on the bus in Tel Aviv. 20 people are nifter. This, of course, screams to the validity, the veracity of this story, that when one is careful with one's eyes, one is brought to a makam of greatness next to HaKadosh Baruch Hu forever and ever. That's the greatest pleasure. It should be a goal of ours to be as close to Hashem as possible. And the best way to do that is to be careful with our eyes to hold back even when we want to look.